Hello, Freedom Family! It's been a while, and I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. It's that time of year. Let's start with the big news. Two years ago, we started Freedom Games, our game publishing division. Now, it has raised $10 million in its first Series A, Money's in the Bank, and we're all excited. That is now fully funded. Game publishing will have a bright future, I am sure. And we have more areas to focus on now with Freedom Talent, Freedom Music, and projects like Heartbeat. But before I get into those, how are you doing, Freedom Family? It's been a long time. One of my New Year's resolutions is make more videos on The George Show. So I hope you will enjoy those coming in January. And uh, I'm currently in Taiwan. I'm on a short vacation with my family. And we will be back very soon in Dubai and back in the saddle. I'm amazingly happy, impressed, proud of the work that the Freedom Games team has done to achieve such an amazing milestone. Let's do it again with our other projects. So the link in the description down there is to the Venture Beat article describing the Series A, the 10 million that we raised. I encourage you to read it. It's something that I hope to repeat for our other divisions. So what are they? In 2023, we are going to start being the platform instead of using the platform. One of our goals is to build a platform on which other people create tools and APIs and services so that we can create the policies and build what we hope will be a very fair ecosystem for creators. We will do revenue sharing just like on YouTube. We will support networks just like on YouTube. And we will have dashboards, payment systems, a lot of the things that you are used to as a revenue share platform based on user generated content. And what is that kind of content going to be? No, we're not making a YouTube competitor, but we are combining two very different products into a single one. And this is my daughter who thinks that uh, opening her iPad is more important than me making my video telling about her exciting new 2023. Hi, Daenerys. Hi, <laughs> All right, so let me ask you two questions. What's the one thing missing from YouTube? Ding dong, ding dong, tick tock, tick tock. And it's not TikTok. It's something to read. You have comments and video descriptions full of follow me on Twitter links. That's not something to read. Lots of videos. All right, second question. What's the one thing missing from Wikipedia? TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. It's obvious, right? Something to watch. There's a lot of text, lots to read, and there's also images, but there's no video, or almost no video. So what do we do? We combine the best of both worlds into Heartbeat. YouTube is the world's video library. Heartbeat is the world's memories. We are the world's memories. That's our motto. That's our goal. What do I mean by memories? I mean by exciting moments that are linked to paragraphs showing only the clips, the relevant video clips. So if you're reading about the moon landing uh, the Apollo 15 mission where the astronauts were on the moon. If you're reading about that on Wikipedia, you'll see a lot of text, a lot of images, and there's an experiment where the astronauts dropped a one kilogram hammer and like a super light feather at the same time on the moon, testing Galileo's theory that if objects of different mass fall with no atmosphere to slow down the feather, they'll hit the ground at the same time. And guess what? They did. <laughs> so Galileo is right. However, on Wikipedia, you just see the text. On YouTube, you can find a video from NASA that shows the actual video of the astronaut dropping these two objects on the moon's surface. Why not have a video clip of that experiment while you're reading the article on Wikipedia? That's the whole concept. So click the link down there in the description below to see our prototype. We call it a wiki a video wiki. How will that help you grow? Well, on YouTube, as you know, you make videos. And on blogs and wikis, as you know, you write text. We're going to combine the two into a platform. That'll be a wiki. 
and just go to www.vi.ki, nice and short and sexy, I hope you agree, domain, to see our prototype. And there's a lot of different content. So as a creator, you'll be able to submit your video clips to relevant articles written by others so that when people are reading those articles written by others, they can see your videos. And if they like what they see, they'll go to your YouTube channel, subscribe, and you'll get more followers. The other big benefit is because these visitors are coming from Google searches, it's creating a new session on YouTube. YouTube rewards, YouTube SEO, the algorithm rewards new sessions far more than if someone finds your video on YouTube by doing a YouTube search. Why? Because YouTube gets a new customer. If someone doing a Google search comes across an embedded video, that's your video, and goes to your channel, they've now created a new YouTube session. And if they stay on YouTube, even better. But YouTube credits you for bringing them a new customer, which is far more valuable in terms of YouTube SEO than someone who's just already on YouTube searching for videos, finding your videos and watching them. So that's one benefit. You will get higher ranking for your content if you submit your relevant video clips to these articles that people then come to YouTube to watch. Second big advantage is anytime you submit a video clip, you will start earning money, a revenue share of all the revenue generated by that article, you will get a piece of it. Now you obviously not get all of it because you haven't written the article, but you'll get a piece of it. You'll get points. The points will represent how much you earn from that article. So if you have, let's say, five video clips that you submit to an article about Valheim, a game review of this survival Viking game, <laughs> then you're gonna get more money than if you submitted just one video clip. Now let's say you write the article. You'll also get points that will reward you with revenue share from all revenue generated by that article. So we're going to do very fair revenue sharing based on the value of your contributions to these heartbeat pages and on Heartbeat, you'll be able to follow my Heartbeat. That's what we're gonna call subscribing to a Heartbeat channel. Follow my Heartbeat, not subscribe to my Heartbeat channel. And so the whole point is your Heartbeat are the things you enjoy, the moments that matter to you. When you are watching YouTube videos, when you are reading articles, you'll have a Chrome extension that will let you identify the clips as you're watching them and then save them in your heartbeat. Then others will, will be able to follow your heartbeat. And if they do, they're probably going to have similar interests. You'll have ways of connecting strangers based on common interest by creating this concept of following my heartbeat. Guys, you know, I met my wife on studypond.com. It's a language exchange site, not a dating site. She had her profile there offering to teach Chinese, uh, she was in Taiwan, I was in the United States in San Francisco at the time, and we met online based on common interest. That means this could lead to a dating site, dating for YouTubers. In fact, that's what, what, that's what I originally created Heartbeat as a dating for YouTubers collaboration tool because it's based on connecting strangers on common interest. This is the same thing, except expanded now into a full platform that we will build, that you can use to get more views, get better YouTube SEO, contribute to articles to get revenue share of all the revenue generated by everything you've contributed to. And we'll have protections in place from spammers who are just there to grief. We will get rid of those quickly. It'll be heavily moderated by people, not just algorithms. And there'll be a lot of things that I think you will find very exciting. There will be games as well. We will have Heartbeat Gaming, similar to how Facebook has games. We will have the ability for you to create your own websites using your Heartbeat. Lots of features coming soon. There'll be a clickless gallery and other things you haven't seen before on the web. So there will be tools to help you grow faster. There'll be ways for you to express yourself um, in interfaces that you haven't seen before, like, like, like a clickless gallery, like these concepts of a video wiki, not just a wiki with text and images, but also relevant video clips. So you can see the paragraph you are reading and so on. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. This was meant to be a Merry Christmas video. So Merry Christmas. 
and Happy New Year very soon. I'm so excited, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, looking forward to the shiny new 2023. I hope you are too. And there'll be a bright future for freedom, heartbeat, and all the other projects that we are doing together as a family. Because what is the spirit of freedom? We all help each other grow together as a family. And that hasn't changed. That'll never change as long as I am. Who am I? <laughs> the CEO and founder of Freedom for Freedom and the Freedom Family. So I'm also, as I said, in Taiwan. I've made a few videos. If you want to check them out, click the links down there in the description below of George in Taiwan. Those are on my personal YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, we will see you very soon in future videos in the shiny new year. Stay safe. Happy holidays. And until the next episode, I am George and you've been watching The George Show on a cell phone. Sorry for the lack of production quality, but I'll get back to the green screen and better editing uh, when I get back home to Dubai. Take care, Tsaijian, and Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh, and we've been uh, nine years now. Freedom is nine years old. We're celebrating our ninth anniversary. Next year will be a decade, a full 10 years as a company. That's awesome, amazing. But we'll celebrate that next year. All right. Take care, Freedom Family. Till next time.